Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Let me explain what you're looking at here. The person on the screen, that's real. I know that because that's me. However, the little Christmas ornament I'm holding in my hand, well, that's not real. That exists only as a digital model in polygons, pixels, and textures. So how did the two come together? Welcome to augmented reality, the frontier where physical objects and digital prototypes can coexist. Normally, augmented reality is a term associated with expensive software suites used by automakers and major manufacturers to test out the digital designs before they built it. What I'm showing you is a software package called Lincio VR from an Italian software company. It costs roughly 25 euro or about 35 US dollars. Now that's augmented reality at consumer price. Think about that. There are webcams that cost more than $35. Let me show you how it works. First, you need a digital 3D model. A CAD model will do very nicely. Lynchio VR cannot read CAD files in its native format, of course, but it can read neutral 3D formats. So you'll need to first save out your CAD file as OBJ, IGES, Vermal, or some other supported file type. Once you've got your model ready, you can import that model into the Lynchio VR scene. Now I know, for instance, that this Christmas ornament is a little bit smaller than how I'd like it to appear, so I'm going to resize it just a bit. Next, using the trackable panel, I'm going to associate this 3D model with a marker. That's a pattern or a symbol that the computer can easily see and recognize. By see, I mean viewing it from a webcam, because that's how a computer perceives images. Now, you can just use one of the symbols that come with the software preloaded, or you can create your own symbol. In any case, once you have associated that symbol with the 3D model, you'll need to print that symbol out on a sheet of paper. Once you've got your symbol or marker printed, you can move into the AR or augmented reality mode in Lynchio VR. The software will prompt you to identify the camera source, in my case, my webcam. Now what I'm really doing is just waving the marker as a piece of paper in front of the camera. But what you see, or what the camera display, is me waving the digital 3D model of that Christmas ornament. It's a pretty neat trick, isn't it? Well, that happens because the camera is tracking the symbol of the marker that you're showing in front of the camera, and the 3D model is being displayed in the same orientation as the marker. So. Using this method, you can easily put a digital vehicle on your palm, or you might compare a digital prototype with a real design. It gives you an easy way to find out how something will look before you build it or make it. Augmented reality, or AR, has been around for quite some time, but I must say it has never been made affordable at this price point. Lynchio VR offers trial version of the software you can download. So if you'd like to hold your cat models in your hand, in a manner of speaking, then go ahead and try it out yourself. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, signing off into Augmented Reality Zone.